There's something special that Jesus loves and that we ought to love about the gathering together of the saints. That which he paid the price for, that which he shed his blood for, that which he sacrificed his life for. You know, we, we talk about the freedom of worship in this nation, and, and, and we have, you know, people that are spending millions of dollars in legal defense funds and so on and so forth so that we can have the right to gather together and worship, and yet many times we look at it like, hey, take it or leave it. You know, I mean, I'll show up maybe, you know, but if I got something else to do, I'm a little tired, you know, maybe this, that, something else, you know, it's a beautiful day out, the golf course looks good, I can get that job done in the yard today, uh, and, and we, 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 are, we are not loving the church like Jesus loves the church. I knew that would get you excited. But I, what I want you to know is that, listen, you know, I've been to revivals, and I, I love revivals. They're exciting to be in revivals. Uh, but listen, revivals started because somebody began to show up on the outside what's already on the inside. And then other people started to want some of that. Listen, revival is not, uh, you know, to the east or the west or, or even from heaven itself. You know, we can plead with heaven over and over again. I want revival, God. You know, open the heavens and come down and do something great in our midst. But listen, all the revival that you need is on the inside of you. And it's a matter of, you know, that old song that we used to sing in, in, in charismatic circles. Spring up, O oh well, within my soul. Spring up, O oh well, and make me whole. That's a reality. That song is, 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 is absolutely true. Because everything you need, if you need healing in your physical body, it's already in you. Whatever you need, it's already in you. But you've got to bring it forth. That's why Paul said about stirring up the gift that's in you. And he wasn't just talking about, you know, prophetic gift or all that kind of stuff. You know, that's all part of it. But, but you know, when we talk about gift, we're talking about the grace. We're talking about the, the gifting of God or the, the charis of God that's on the inside of us. And we need to stir up. You know, that's why he said, I, I pray in the Spirit more than all of you do. Why? Because praying in the Spirit, you know, it builds us up on the inside. And, and the more you build up on the inside, the more it's manifested on the outside. Listen, you don't need any more from God than you already have. Wow. <clears throat> Why? Because he's already given you everything that you need. Oh, but you don't understand, Pastor. I need, I need more. No, you don't need any more. You got it. You are a new creation in Christ. And everything on the inside of you looks just like Jesus. But you've got to bring forth what's in you. You've got to bring out what is in you by the word and by your, your uh, uh, partnership with the Holy Spirit. It brings forth a spirit of revival, a spirit of resurrection life, a, a, a spirit of, of whatever you need for yourself or for somebody else. Listen, listen to this. This is out of the, the Mirror Bible. I'm, I'm almost done. The Mirror Bible. Uh, there's a little app, in, and it, it's not the whole Bible. It's only what they've already translated, but this is, this is a really good translation here. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 23, it says that the, the, the church is his body, the completeness of his being that fills all in all resides in in us. Let me say it again. The church. Say, say, I'm the church. I'm the church. I'm the church. I'm the church. Avery's been over, so we're watching, you know, those kiddie shows. And yeah, was it Diego? Is it Diego? Yeah, Diego. He's got the map, you know. The map, the map, got the map. 
I'm the church, I'm the church, I'm the church, I'm the church. Okay. Anyway, the church is his body, the completeness of his being that fills all, in all, resides in us. God cannot make himself more visible or exhibit himself more accurately than he can through the church. The word in the, 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 word in the New Testament is ecclesia. You know, there, there are churches that are, that are called the ecclesia church or what have you. And, and, and it means, uh, 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 the Greek word e- ecclesia comes from the word, the first part of it is ek, which is a preposition denoting origin. And ecclesia means to identify by name. Thus the church is his redeemed image and likeness in man. The church is his redeemed likeness in man. See, for a lot of people, we're just waiting for Jesus to do it. We're just waiting for Jesus to come. We're just waiting for, you know, uh, all these end time scenarios. I mean, we, we love to hear about the end times, you know, and this is going to happen, that, you know, in Russia and in China. And, you know, yeah, all that's going to happen. But you know what? You don't need to worry about all that stuff. I'm a, 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 a pan millennium. That's what I am. You know, it's, it, it's all going to pan out. That's, that's all, you know, you need to know. <laughs> Listen, if, 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 if we're here during the tribulation, and you've all seen the movie, so, you know, you've got a lot to be scared about. We'll go through it glorious. If we get raptured before that, it's all glorious. Amen. But the fact is, we've got to realize that we've got a job to do when we're here. And that job is to be the expressed image that Jesus was when he walked the earth. To be that image of God, that redeemed image that's in man. See, that is the, that is the absolute uh, amazing mystery of the gospel. That God became flesh and he became the forerunner for what redeemed man would be and look like see religion has so spoiled us and messed us up and ruined our thinking because you know we 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 come up thinking that only uh only those special people can be anything close to jesus if you read any news in the last 20 years, you find out that those special people are still human. But the fact is that any and every believer can look like, act like, be like Jesus in the earth. 